This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. Hi Pool Players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. Check where I'm at. I'm on the road. We're in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Tembal Open and for the World Tembal Championships. In this episode, I have a great lesson for you. We're going to look at 10 qualities that you can work on to be the best pool player that you can be. Warning, we're not aiming to be perfect. Our goal is to be excellent and we do that by installing small good habits on a day-to-day -day basis. That leads to an accumulative effect where you're going to see gains in your game, your confidence and therefore your results. And we're also going to have some fun in this episode. Slacker Niels is back, so have a look out for him because he's going to spoil the party left and right in this video. So let's jump back to the hotel room and start with quality number 10 that you can work on. On number 10, time. If you ask somebody nowadays, how are you doing? They're going to say, yeah, good, but I'm busy. Well, if you find yourself too busy to do any kind of good practice and chase your dream, you have to be honest with yourself right now, pause the video and perhaps have a look at your screen time. How much time per day are you on a screen? If it's over two, three, four hours a day, we have to make a choice. Cut out some activity on your screen and hit that practice table. Also try to skip a few episodes of your favorite series at night and stop that binge watching. Hit that practice table. Yo, yo, what? yo. What now? What? Yo. What? Man, what are you talking about? I don't have time for all that stuff. I got to text. Wait a minute. I got to text all my friends here. I, I don't want to go there. That's too much work. Can you believe this guy, pool player? He has a dream and he's just not doing anything for it. He's wasting time. Don't be like that. On number nine, a massive overlook point, your energy. Nowadays, so many people are struggling with their energy and their baseline, the level of energy that they think is standard is way below what they're actually capable of. Pool is a concentration sport and if you're donating so much of your focus to the digital platforms, just giving all your energy away, you're gonna be dead tired in the evenings or late afternoons you got nothing left up here to hit the practice table. If your mental energy was a big vault filled with gold bricks and you're just giving bricks away all day long to texting and binge watching and all that stuff, you're just not going to have anything left. The good side of this story is you have a choice. You can save some of that mental energy for that practice time that you need in the afternoons or evenings to chase your dream to become that better player. If this is confronting for you and it feels uncomfortable, good, because it's time to realize that you have responsibility for your own mental energy. And one of the quickest fixes, much overlooked as well, is your sleep. Studies have shown that if you sleep under six hours a night, your immune system just gets wrecked. Your baseline energy becomes much lower. So try to aim for that seven to eight hours of sleep. That is your biggest weapon. Because if you wake up more fresh and if you save some of that mental energy, you're going to hit that practice table harder. You're going to do more quality work. More quality work relates into more skills, more skills, more confidence and more wins. On number eight, your fundamentals, pool players. You can dream about making all the shots, running all the racks, winning everything there is. But if you cannot execute basic shots because you're having flaws in your technique, like jumping up, steering in the shot, then you will never be able to execute basic shots that you need for your game to run out. So be honest with yourself. Where is your technique at this moment in time? Can you execute long draw shots, power strokes, spin shots, all those different things that you need for your game? If you're having trouble with your technique and stroke, I highly suggest you check out the playlist for the Back to the Basics. There's tons of videos there for technique, stroke, all that good stuff, build it up from the ground and give you a better foundation. On number seven, one that I really, really enjoy, courage. If you have that dream and wish that you can be better than what you are now, you will be faced with some opinions of other people where they're going to say, nah, don't go there. They've hit that brick wall themselves and they're going to say, nah, don't go there. It's too hard. Let's just go out tonight. Well, you have to be courageous. 
You have to say no to certain things. You need to follow your own path and walk the non-easy road. On number six, you have to be resilient. If you want to chase that wish, you will be faced with some hard losses and bad beats. And you got to take it on the chin and bounce back. Whatever you do, do not give up. That's the easy path. That's not what we're going to go after. If you want to be better than what you are now, you got to take some hits. Up the, oh, what, man, what? it's too hard. What? I missed that ball. I don't want to do it no more. It's too much pain. Come on, man. You got this. We've all been there. Get up from the couch, dust it off, get back in the game. What do you mean? There's still hope? Yes, you can. I've been there many, many times. Just get up. Keep going. On number five, dedication and discipline. Again, it's about choices, pool players. If you want to get better, you got to practice those things that are uncomfortable in your game, things you're struggling with, put the time in, even with nobody watching there to give you compliments, you're doing great. You are doing this for yourself. So show up at the table, do the work that's needed. If you need to work on your stroke, maybe some safety play, or even a cool kick shot that you're struggling with, or that you saw in a video and you want to master yourself, put the time in, go to work, get it done. On number four, you got to be a student of the game. You got to watch other players, videos, look for shots that you can put into your own game without being judgmental about what you're watching of other players. And again, it's about making choices. It's about not watching your favorite series but maybe studying a great match and picking out shots that you can practice. No, man, I'll go practice later. One more episode. This is a cliffhanger. This is this important right here. This guy just doesn't listen, does he? You're better than that. So quit the binge watching, become a student of the game, watch other players and learn from everybody. On number three, a big one, trusting yourself. Trusting is having confidence in your own game that's what you need when you're under pressure and facing tough situations. We put in all that time on the practice table. Eventually, for the moment where we're competing, we're under pressure, we're uncomfortable, then we need to trust what we've practiced and let our body take over. Don't try to control every moment there. That's not what you've been training for. Let your subconscious kick in Try to keep your intuitive side activated and let your training take over. I'm the first to tell you from personal experience that if you're not feeling it and you're uncomfortable, that trusting yourself is a hard thing to do. But again, it's a choice. You've done all that work. The only thing you can do is let it come out naturally. On number two, attitude again guys this is one of the biggest biggest things in your game and i feel personally it's one of my biggest weapons remember the saying five percent is what's happening to you and 95 percent is how you react to it take responsibility for your own actions learn from your mistakes don't blame it on other things always always look in the mirror look for improvements Hit that practice table again and keep building that momentum. Keep going forward relentlessly. Also, check out the video here above. The three only things you can control in your match. I speak more about attitude in that one. Let's go to the final and number one quality that you need to work on to be the best version you can be. On number one, have you guessed it? What is the biggest, biggest weapon that you can have as a player. It's desire. Desire is the number one motivational thing that a human being can have. If you know what you want, then your energy is going to go skyrocket. You see yourself in the future going after that goal. You're going to slam down every brick wall you're going to be faced. You're going to get up from every defeat and you're going to keep going no matter what. So the biggest tip here is Take some time for yourself to fantasize and make a wish what you want for your game. If you're going to fill yourself up all day long with inputs from the outside digital world mostly, you're never going to have any time to reflect and actually fantasize what you think is super cool for your game. So start with that, 
make a wish, and if you're serious about getting better, then go after it. There you go, pool players. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I love doing these self-improvement videos myself. So I think there's gonna be something in here for everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly for you. Browse around, have a look. And remember, if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to terminatorcollege.com. Check out all those courses that are just waiting there for you. There we go. Viva Las Vegas.